How is it going everyone? Daxels here and today we're reacting to another Quasquazart video, reacting to the newest one, The Most Horrible Parasite, Brain Eating Amoeba. This sounds terrifying. Let's get straight into it and away we go. A war has been going on for billions of years that breeds well-armed monsters who struggle with other monsters True. for survival. Having no particular interest in us, most of them are relatively harmless, as our immune systems deal with their weapons easily. But there are exceptions. Naglaria fowleri is an amoeba that has not only developed a deadly taste for human brains, but is also a match for our defenses and stars in dramatic headlines. Oh what my happens God. when this monster enters your body? I'm never leaving. I I'm just staying here. Uh, I'm fine, thank you. I, I do not want to meet Naglaria this. fowleri is How'd an you get amoeba, it? a microbe with a nucleus, one of the smallest uh -huh. life forms on Earth. Mm. It is a voracious hunter of bacteria and other critters that it devours whole and rips into pieces. Jesus! Like many amoebae, it is able to transform into different stages that help it survive. But okay. most of the time, Naglaria fowleri is in its trophozoite stage, during which it looks like a squishy blob with tiny arms, and hunts, okay. divides, and thrives. Its natural home is in fresh water, ponds, rivers, lakes, and hot springs. But, unfortunately, it also feels happy in pipes, swimming pools, fountains, or spas when they're not properly treated. The warmer the water, the more it thrives and multiplies. So in the summer, when humans seek to cool off and enjoy themselves, the chances are highest that both species will interact. Because this makes it hard to avoid, millions of people regularly have contact with the amoeba, especially in warmer climates, and many people even seem to have antibodies against it. And this is mostly okay. You can even swallow it without consequences. Oh. Things turn bad when people dive or swim in water contaminated with the amoeba and water splashes high up into their noses. In a single drop oh, of lake no. water, there are millions of viruses, bacteria and amoebae, and that isn't really a big deal. Oh. But Naglaria fowleri is different. Let's zoom into the nose of an unsuspecting victim enjoying a great summer day and see what happens. I'm never swimming again. First of all, the amoeba doesn't really want to be inside your nose, as it's not really looking for trouble. It just wants oh. to eat a few bacteria. Hmm. Instead, it's greeted by your natural defenses. Unfortunately for humans, Naglaria fowleri happens to be exceptionally good at generally flying under the radar of your immune system. Oh. For example, oh. the inside of your nose is covered by mucosa, a slime filled with chemicals that kill or stun possible invaders or alert hmm. immune cells. Mm -hmm. But Naglaria fowleri is not particularly bothered by them and instead calmly checks out the scenery, mildly annoyed about the whole ordeal. Now, if you are unlucky, the tiny critter stumbles over something that actually sparks its interest. Nerve cells. Your nose is filled with a large network of olfactory nerve cells that pick up molecules from the outside and transmit their information to your olfactory bulb, the center of smell in your brain. To do their job, these cells talk to each other by releasing various messenger chemicals and yeah. recognizing oh. them via specific receptors. Is it eat the chemicals One of the or most the nerve important cells? of these chemicals is acetylcholine. Okay. Through sheer evolutionary bad luck, Naglaria fowleri happens to have receptors that recognize acetylcholine. And it seems to attract them irresistibly, a little like moths that are attracted oh, by light. No. So as your olfactory nerve cells do their job, using plenty of acetylcholine to talk to the brain, Naglaria fowleri enters your tissue. It seems to follow the chemical signals upstream. Oh. Neutrophils, crazy suicide warriors, begin to attack the amoebae. Individually, they have no chance against them, as the invaders yeah. are large and pretty buff fighters, used to dealing with tough enemies. So the defenders swarm the intruders, and kill them either by vomiting chemicals that punch holes into them or by literally ripping parts of them off and devouring them. Damn. But the Naglaria fowleri train is still on track and while the neutrophil attacks slow them down, they continue to follow the olfactory nerves to their final destination, your brain. Oh my this god. This process can take between one and nine days and you'll probably not notice anything during that time. Okay. Until the amoebae reach the olfactory bulb, the center of smell and entrance to your brain. Your brain cells are nothing more than helpless victims 
and they all release that wonderful acetylcholine. Nagleria fowleri initiates a massacre and releases an onslaught of various attack molecules. Some of them are basically little bombs that rip holes into your cells on contact so their pieces can be eagerly consumed. But Nagleria fowleri is now multiplying and it's also becoming really creepy. In a feeding frenzy, it can develop up to a dozen suckers called food cups that look like giant eerie mouths. The amoebae engage your brain cells, suck them in, and rip large bites out of them while they're still alive. This is a horror now, movie! things escalate quickly and the disease that will kill you sets in. Alerted by the massacre, millions of immune cells, neutrophils, eosinophils and microglias invade the infected tissue. Which is a problem. Your immune system is dangerous and not exactly a careful fighter. Oh. It's like burning down a forest to kill the wolves inside it. A really wow. bad idea in the brain. Yeah. They waste no time and attack the amoeba, using all the weapons available to them, from chemicals to trying to eat them alive. Neutrophils explode oh. themselves to erect barriers spiked with deadly chemicals. A fierce battle ensues. Nagleria fowleri can actually fight back, itself attacking and killing many immune cells. Wow. The immune system now throws everything it has at the invader, but in vain. The complement system, okay. tiny protein bombs that can kill intruders on their own, are easily disabled. Antibodies, usually one of your super weapons, are just destroyed or swallowed. A high fever that usually slows enemies down does nothing as the amoeba actually thrives in the heat. All the while, the amoebae continue to multiply, fight and devour your brain cells. A disastrous chain reaction is taking place. One major thing your immune cells do when they fight is to cause inflammation, which directs large amounts of fluid from your bloodstream into the site of an infection. So as the battle rages on without a clear winner, more and more fluid enters the brain. At this point, the human will feel symptoms that quickly escalate. It all begins pretty vaguely, a headache, fever, nausea and vomiting. As the battle spreads rapidly through the brain, serious symptoms appear from confusion, inability to concentrate, to fatigue, seizures and hallucinations. Oh the brain swells up massively but can't expand due to the bones surrounding it. So it compresses and disables the brainstem that controls things like breathing. Usually Whoa. within a week, the patient dies. Oh my god! Up to 97% of the patients infected by the amoeba share this fate. In almost all cases, by the time an infection by Nagleria fowleri is recognized, the disastrous battle for the brain is already so far along that there is almost nothing to be done. Not only do we currently not have effective treatments, there are also an abundance of open questions about how an amoeba that usually enjoys its life in open water is able to overcome our immune system so effectively. So how worried do you need to be about this horrifying killer amoeba? Well, not very. While oh the Nagleria fowleri is clearly extremely deadly and the infection truly horrible, there have only been a few hundred cases in the last few decades. Oh, son you are way of more what? likely to drown in a pool than to get infected. Oh, Not my only God. does the amoeba need to be flushed high up your nose, no, it also yeah. needs to get a good grip and it also yeah. has to make its way through the first lines of your defenses. True. Ultimately, Nagleria fowleri is neither evil nor a huge public health risk. But every wow. year, some unlucky people have to deal with it. We still have so much to learn about it, and until we find a way to treat it, Nagleria fowleri will continue to be this vague and horrifying thing, hunting in puddles and lakes, and sometimes pools. Usually for bacteria, and very occasionally for people. Great. <laughs> that was like oh, a horror hey. movie. Who are you? It's me. Um, okay. I'm here to make you question your own existence and everything you hold dear. What is life. happening? Could you not, please? Too late. Just look at all these amazing posters full of humbling visualizations, like the humbling. scale of the universe. Look how huge it is and how small you are. Look at the <laughs> education edition, how it dives deep into the history of evolution or all the other scientific fields to make you feel bad for all the stuff you don't know. Or wow. look at this one. It oh, glows cool. in the dark. No shot. Sure. But Dread, these do make me feel good, actually. 
They do fill me with excitement and awe about how amazing our universe is. The animation's got off of it. I like it. And look how pretty they are. They are cool I, I can't want some. in the presence of <laughs> If you too want to overcome your existential dread, make your life beautiful and also support Kurzgesagt so we can put thousands of hours into our videos and Where release them it? for free, right like you can get these and many, many right more like amazing fridge. posters or shirts or so many more things in our shop. We put as much care into our products as into our videos, trying to find something clever or a new angle that will challenge your perspective while still teaching you the core aspects. It's the best way to support okay. what we do on this channel. Oh, yes. They're expensive? I want one now. I want one back there. Right there. Right there. That'd be cool, right? We should get one. We should get one. Good video! Okay everyone, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the original in the description down below. Enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, comment what you'd like me to react to next, subscribe if you're new or just haven't yet. You don't have to, that's just an optional thing you can do just so you don't miss a video. Speaking of videos, this is suggested one right there. But if you want to see the newest video, it's right up there. I will see you in the next video. Later.